<laughs> Hi, I'm Joshua Verne, and I play the roles of George and also George. So uh, pretty much everyone is familiar with A Sunday Afternoon in the Island of La Grande Jatte, which is the name of the painting, uh, and how there are a bunch of people in the background. They're just kind of all over. Um, and it's exciting to see that each of those people has a story, and each of those people has their own life and their own sort of musical that they're the lead <laughs> yeah. of, you know? So it's, it's kind of exciting to see how each uh, character grows and blossoms and mm -hmm. has their own desires and wants. And then it's exciting to see how this cast really pulls, um, pulls that out of each character and makes it three-dimensional. Sunday in the Park with George has been on my bucket list for a long time. It's uh, a beautiful show and it really connects with anyone who has any degree of artistic inclination, really. Um, it speaks to the soul in a way that other shows that I've encountered at least only strive for. Um, it's a gorgeous, it's got a gorgeous score, a beautiful script, and a uh, very emotionally compelling message. And I don't think I've ever sat through it without crying. So we'll see if I can get through the show without <laughs> crying. I don't think I'll be able to. George is a, uh, difficult beast to explain in words. He's got this line in the show that where he says, why do you insist? You must hear the words when you know I cannot give you words. That has always been um, something that has resonated with me one of the reasons that I connect so much with George is because he is an observer and he likes to distance himself, or he not necessarily that he likes to, but he tends to distance himself from others, even those that he feels very close to. There's still, um, there's a kind of a distance there and he watches the world and he watches things happen around him as opposed to actively participating in the world. and. I always kind of grew up as an observer and I, I like to watch things and I like to see things happen, but I don't necessarily uh, feel like I'm a part of it in the most wonderful way possible. <laughs> I'm also really excited because we've done one show together, but we were never on stage at the same time. Yeah, it was just constantly <laughs> missing each other. Yeah. I would go on stage and he would leave. It was, you know, kind of. So it's fun. So now we're the only mm -hmm. time I'm on stage, he's on stage too. So it's kind of fun that we finally get to make eye contact on stage <laughs> yeah. and not ignore each other. Yeah, that'll be fun. The more challenging aspects of the uh, production, we could start with the very obvious uh, vocally, it's a beast. Yeah, it yeah. is a monster of a challenge. George kind of just sits on a G the whole show, <laughs> which is right on my break, if not slightly above it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so vocally, it's a huge challenge. But as far as adapting to the characters, there is a, uh, regardless of my personal connection with George, there's a, a very big challenge in taking this very introverted person and um, showing that introversion. It's very hard to show introversion on a stage because everything has to read from, you know, 50, 100 feet back. My favorite moment in the show is uh, less of a moment and more of an entire song, I suppose, but um, there's a, uh, a song at the right at the top of act two, which, spoiler alert, George Surratt finishes the painting. <laughs> <laughs> but right at the top of act two, um, there's a, uh, a song with all of the characters in the painting, and they're all just frozen in place. And it's, I guess, kind of like you can just read the minds of each of the characters in the painting, and they're all just complaining about how they've been standing there for 200 years and <laughs> how hot it is and their hands are sticky and each one of them gets, you get to hear they're all 
all of their different complaints and all of the different ways that they're miserable. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful uh, little schadenfreude type of <laughs> number. <laughs>